Once again, I have the honor of welcoming everybody here to the Santa Rosa Religious Education Congress and a warm welcome, especially for those of you who have come from near or far. Uh, we want to say thank you to uh, President Laura Held of Cardinal Newman High School for hosting uh, the event here at the school. Um, also, I have the uh, privilege of working with a couple of chancery departments, and I see a number of them here um, as well, including um, um, they are among the vendors uh, for the day. Uh, one of the, uh, a couple of those are Stephen Morris, who is the director for Youth and Young Adult Ministry, uh, Dr. Linda Norman from the Department of Catholic Schools, and um, Deacon Dave and uh, Carlin Gould from the Office for Marriage and Family Life. And one of the issues that we have addressed as, uh, as a multi-department effort is the issue of what is being called disaffiliation. Disaffiliation. And in fact, we gathered a number of um, uh, catechetical leaders from parishes with schools back in May 14 of this year. We gathered with pastors, principals, DREs, youth ministers, confirmation coordinators, RCA directors, and one of the issues that we looked at was the issue of Catholics leaving the church. And the term, as I mentioned, coined for this is disaffiliation or disengagement, where Catholics as young as 13 years old are leaving the church. And uh, the bishop referenced this in his preaching this morning. And so one of the ways that we would like to address this is by, uh, well, today, because many of you are involved with confirmation, with First Communion, First Penance, and sacramental preparation. And this is something that uh, we should be vigilant about so that these souls are not lost. Um, the other uh, point that I wanted to reference today is another study that just came out among Sunday Mass-going Catholics. These are regular Catholics that go to Sunday Mass every week. And the study showed that only one-third, one out of every three Catholics who goes to Mass regularly, believes the Church's teachings on the real presence. And as you know, the teaching on the real presence is where we believe that Jesus is truly, really substantially body, blood, soul, and divinity present in the Eucharist. Um, after the priest uh, transubstantiates the Eucharist, the, the bread and wine, into Jesus' body and blood, it is no longer bread and wine. It is the body and blood of Jesus. And the situation in the church, and this is the data for the United States, is that this is in decline. So uh, th those are two uh, issues to be aware of as we engage in our catechetical apostolate. And uh, uh, on a, a more housekeeping note, we're pleased to welcome uh, a number of speakers who are addressing this. And one of the strategic ways our departments in the chancery are addressing this is by systematically focusing on the four pillars of the catechism every year. So this year, we are focusing on liturgy and the sacraments, encountering Jesus in the liturgy, which is the second pillar of the catechism. The third pillar, which we'll look at next year, we'll look at the, we'll look at the moral life in Christ with a special attention to theology of the body. And then in the following year, in 2021, we'll look at not just prayer, but Christian prayer. And then the following year, we'll return back to the first pillar of the Catechism on the profession of faith, or the Creed. Okay, so in summary, the Creed, the sacraments, our moral life in Christ, and Christian prayer. We're going to look at that systematically. And in fact, that is 
one of the things that we are doing with our diocesan certification process. I want to encourage you, if you have not been certified, to go through our diocesan certification process. On average, it's a once a month commitment. For your basic certification, it's for one year. Um, and then um, I also want to invite you to the master catechist possibility. Uh, down here in Santa Rosa and in, in Eureka, we also have a program up there. But down here in Santa Rosa, we have um, another a program that we will be starting in February for both basic and master catechists. And the idea is there is that you, if you're certified, there are certain standards that you have accomplished in the diocese. So uh, if you need more information, just register with Carmen in, in, um, or contact our office later. I encourage you to visit our vendors at some point during the day. You'll also find everything is in the program. Everything that you, any information that you need is in the program when you, when you came in to register or uh, check in this morning. Uh, in closing, I'd like to, in a special way, consecrate this day to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. She who um, is our mother. She whose Immaculate Heart, as the Bible said, was pierced. And uh, we pray for the, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, especially in our day when the church is going through so much. As I was leaving for um, our events these past couple of days, uh, or the past day or so, my, my five-year-old daughter came up to me and said, I want to write this for you, but she turned to her eight-year-old sister, and she said, my eight-year-old sister is writing this because she couldn't write. And uh, she said this. She said, I love you. I love you, Tata. I love you, Papi. I love you very much. Let's be saints. I will draw a picture of you and, and us. See the resemblance? Um, but the line, let's be saints. Because what else is there? And so your speakers today are, are meant to draw you closer, as Bishop wrote in his, his welcome letter, to your parishes, your schools, your institutions, throughout the diocese. Dr. Polly is uh, uh, renowned for his expertise. Uh, we have a number of priests for uh, the English program. Uh, Mother is also coming to present a workshop and uh, we're, we're happy to welcome back Father uh, Padre uh, Roa who will delight you further with his reflections and a number of our lay uh, master catechists in Spanish. So please make use of the day, and um, we'll gather back here at 10 o'clock, and then the keynote will start at 10.10 for English, and then in Spanish you'll be in the Athletic Center right across the way. So let's um, continue our work and uh, grow closer to our Lord. And may you en enjoy the day. We have some hospitality for you. And please also, as you see the bishop today, tell him hello. I, we, we see him uh, at meetings, and he's, he's a very witty guy. He's a very uh, personal, personable guy. So uh, do get a chance to say hello to him. So thank you, everybody. And I, I pray that you all have a very good day. And uh, all the best. God bless you.